Warren Buffett needs no introduction. He's the most iconic figure in the world of finance and investing. He's the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway and is renowned for his exceptional business acumen and disciplined approach to value investing. Often referred to as the Oracle of Omaha, his wealth and success are a testament to his simple yet effective investment philosophy. Buffett emphasizes long-term thinking, finding undervalued stocks and holding them for the long haul. In this video, we look at three lessons that beginners can learn from him. Warren Buffett talks about finding companies, studying their modes and advantages, learning accounting principles, buying winners and selling losers, and many more valuable lessons. However, as you begin your investment journey, it is essential to first focus on the more straightforward principles. I also chose the lessons based on my own journey over the last few years and those that applied the most. Before we begin, my name is Rohan and I've been investing since 2014. But over the last four years, since I moved to Canada, I have really taken control of my portfolio. Over that time, I spent thousands of hours learning about investing and personal finance. Now I'm sharing my learnings to save you some time and fast track your financial journey. With that out of the way, let's get to the lessons. Before we get to the lessons, here's something interesting to note. Buffett is famous for saying, the two rules of investing are, one, never lose money, and two, never forget rule number one. While this is valuable advice, it is extremely hard to follow and will always depend on your investment philosophy over the long term. But as long as we are talking about investing and not trading, this should always be applicable in some capacity. Now off to the lessons. Lesson one, start as early as possible or live very old. Now, living very old is something we can all wish for but never really control. And for a lot of us, investing early also didn't quite work out. Either because of lack of money, lack of financial education and awareness or having to restart with zero dollars due to being immigrants in a new country. Warren Buffett says, The best time to invest was yesterday. The next best time is today. Did you know Warren Buffett started reading investing books at the age of 7 and he purchased his first stocks at the age of 11? I know this is an extremely rare example and impossible for an average person. But firstly, I appeal to you, don't delay any further if you're still waiting on the sidelines to start investing. Buffett emphasizes on the importance of compound effect. He says, compound interest is like a snowball rolling downhill. The earlier you start, the bigger it gets. Let's look at this in action using two examples I used in my previous video. We again meet Jane and Tom, two investors. Jane is more responsible than Tom and started investing at 21, while Tom started investing at 31. They both put in $300 a month into the S&P 500. As Jane approaches retirement at 60, she would have accumulated over $1 million, assuming a return of 10%, tax rate of 15%, and an average inflation of 2%. At the same time, Tom's account only grows to $436,000, less than half of that of Jane's. Now, all is not lost. It's not that Tom cannot reach a $1 million in 10 years less, but to achieve the same million dollar milestone, he has to find ways to invest at least $750 a month now. Often people also delay investing because of excuses such as, I don't have enough money to invest. I ask you, do you have a dollar? Because in today's world of retail investing apps, we have access to fractional buys. That means we can buy a portion of a stock or ETF. As Buffett puts it, don't wait to invest until you have more money. Start with what you have today. Small investments made early can lead to substantial wealth over time. Lesson 2. Study many stocks and buy a few. Also remember, cash is a position in your portfolio. This lesson centers around never buying a stock that you don't understand and always knowing what you're getting into. Buffett says, Diversification is a protection against ignorance. It makes very little sense for those who know what they are doing. Warren Buffett is very famous for being highly concentrated in certain stocks. This is quite evident even today. If we look at Berkshire Hathaway, you'll see 45% of the portfolio is concentrated in the Apple stock. Then you will see a couple of holdings over 5% such as Amex, Bank of America and Coke but then others drop to 1% and below. I know this goes against the general advice you hear all the time, that is to diversify. But the question will always be, diversify into what? Which stocks? Which sector? When? And how much? I can't tell you what to do, but I can tell you what I did. First, I started investing into the S&P 500 through the Vanguard ETF VFV, VOO if you're in the US. Then I started doing research on the companies before I got into any individual stocks. Here's a good way to start doing research and fundamental analysis. Divide it into qualitative and quantitative. 
Look at some qualitative information. Management and leadership. Industry and their market position. Business model, brand and reputation. Then look at some quantitative data too. These generally include reading financial statements to understand cash flow, revenue, debt and more. Valuation metrics such as price to earnings and price to sales ratios. You can also look at past earnings and dividend history if applicable. This might take a while for beginners to understand. And I, similar to Warren, recommend learning some basic accounting principles. That was something that helped me a lot. Yes, you have to read a lot. At 93 years old, Warren Buffett still reads 4 to 6 hours a day. He does this to keep up with the markets, gain more knowledge about companies. And he has been doing this for 8 decades. Once you start understanding the companies better, you can shortlist and wait for good entry points. By the way, I also mentioned that cash is a position in your portfolio. This is very important for beginners because if you get really into investing, it's easy to get carried away and invest all the excess money you have sitting around. I have done this in the past and this is not the way. Many people think they have to be fully invested at all times. Buffett makes it clear that cash is a position and having cash is an asset when used properly. As you learn more about companies, you can start deploying your capital. And don't care what might happen to the stock tomorrow, invest for the long term. As Buffett says, if you aren't willing to own a stock for 10 years, don't even think about owning it for 10 minutes. Before we go to lesson 3, if you find this video insightful, show some support by hitting the like button. And subscribe for weekly videos and regular shots about markets and useful tips. Now back to the topic. Lesson 3. In a volatile market, patience is key. Be greedy when others are fearful. Beginners often get drawn to stocks and investing during the hype phase of a market or during peak bull market. You know what I'm talking about. Remember 2021, the GameStop and AMC mania? There were months when the market just kept going up straight. But that is a completely distorted view of the market. What came after that, the massive downturn in the market, is what you should really know about. When you buy stocks, they're bound to go up and down. It's a roller coaster ride. But as long as you're invested in good companies, over the long term, the trend will always be upwards. Buffett says, The stock market is designed to transfer money from the active to the patient. When the markets are down, that's when you should be buying. This is when your cash position comes into play. This is because great businesses go on sale when everybody else is panicking. The most common cause of low prices is pessimism. We want to purchase in such an environment and it's not because we like pessimism but it's because the prices it produces. It's optimism that is the enemy of the rational buyer. Warren Buffett is often associated with the quote, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. An example of this is during the 2000 dot com bubble, Warren Buffett did not jump on the tech bandwagon. Instead, he patiently waited for the bubble to burst and then scooped up valuable stocks at a discount. When everybody else was fearful, he was buying and it paid off big time. From my own experience, I have bought into hypes. Back in 2021, I bought Palantir at $22 and saw it go down all the way to $6. But during these times, I was not crying over my stupid decisions and was constantly learning about other different companies. Because of this, I was able to successfully buy Nvidia at $162 because it felt way too underpriced at that point. Take my word for it. Don't fret over bad decisions. Use them to learn and move on to better and more informed decisions. Buffett says, Our satisfactory results have been the product of about dozen truly good decisions. And that's how you need to approach your investment journey as well. Take slow and informed decisions. Those were the three lessons that I believe are really important for beginners. Other than that, let's quickly look at two more lessons. First, set clear and simple goals for yourself and do not overcomplicate your investment journey. You need to truly cut out all the noise out there in the market and stick to rational informed decisions. Second, always be learning. Continuous learning is absolutely essential to have any significant achievement in the investment world. Remember, our investing journeys are unique to our goals and motivations. Center your philosophy around those. Learn from the best, but do what's best for you. Keep learning and stay on top of your finances. Until next time.